Hi, in this session we're going to describe the steps that we're going to take to transform the match data into the league table. And uh, we're going to use this Excel spreadsheet here in a kind of pictorial way. First of all, we're going to split the data into uh, two different tables. We're going to reshape those split tables, then we're going to append them back together. We're then going to take that resultant table, we're going to calculate new columns such as the points and the one and the loss column. We're going to take that then group that by team, aggregating the other columns such as the points and the one and the lost and so on. Finally, we're going to sort our league table highest to lowest by points, then by goal descending. Great, let's get started. Let's have a look at our starting data set, which is this. Then we'll look at our final data set and then we'll describe the steps along the way. So our starting data set is a data with uh, a row for each game that's been played so far in the Premier League. There's 288 games played and we've got lots of information about each game. But the information that we need is the date of the game and the two teams that played and the full-time score in home and away goals. Where we're going to get to, our final data set looks a bit like this. We're creating the league table. It's a kind of summary of each team's performance, number of games they played, the points they've got. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to look at this, this series of steps. Let's imagine that each so far in this season, there's been only three matches played. These are actually three real matches. Uh, first on the 18th of August, Chelsea versus Leicester, resulting in a one all draw. Uh, the 11th of August, Man United beat Chelsea 4 0. And the 14th of September, um, Man United beat Leicester 1 0. That's our starting data. The first thing that we have to do, step one, is to split and reshape that data into two data sets. One is our home stats, let's call it our home stats table. And we've renamed home team into team, the away team into opposing team. This is looking at the data set from the home team's point of view. So from the home team point of view, the home goals are the goals for, and the away goals are GA, stands for goals against. We create another table from exactly the same data, again with three rows, but from the away team's point of view. So this time that the home team becomes the opposing team, and the home goals become the goals against. So we've got these two tables, home stats and away stats, and then the next thing that we're going to do, step two, is to append the tables together. And you can see from the colors that they are kind of appended and you can see the logic there. Once we've got that, we need to then do our calculations and that's step three. We know the goals for and the goals against, so we can work out, first of all, the result. The result, of course, if goals for is greater than goals against, it's a win. If they're equal, then it's a draw, otherwise it's a loss. Same sort of logic for the points, three points for a win, one for a draw, zero for a loss. And then we do the one draw and lost other columns. The logic here is for the one column, one for a one and zero for anything else. So that's our calculations. To get our final league table, we need to aggregate these scores by team. So here's the next step, which is step four, group by and aggregate. And if we have a look at Chelsea, for example, if we count the number of games, it's, uh, it's played two games, so for the other teams. But Chelsea, if we look at the number of wins, it's drawn one and it's uh, lost one. So the number of wins is zero. Uh, Man United, on the other hand, have uh, two wins and so on. If we have a look at the points, let's have a look at the Chelsea's points. We get a one plus zero is one. And we're summing it for Man United, they will get three plus three equals six. So that we've what we've done is we've grouped by team, we've counted the number of rows to get the number of games played, and we've summed all the other columns, including the points column, to get those results. Once we've got at this level, at the team level, we've got our goals for and our goals against, then we can simply calculate a new column our goals difference, which is simply goals for less goals against, one minus five equals minus four. We're almost there. The last thing that we have to do is to sort it in order. First of points, highest to lowest. So Man United comes first because it's got six points. 
both Leicester and Chelsea have got one point so in the case of a tie we order by goal difference sort by goal difference again highest to lowest so Leicester becomes before Chelsea so that's it that's our logic now what we're going to do is show that implemented in each of the four languages in turn